Hello and welcome to a Nation of Expo Gaming video. Today we have Fulham versus Chelsea. It's the final match for us today, I believe. If the if the order is right, it is the final match. Um, but apart from that, let's get straight into it. So Fulham, 40 points. They're quite safe at the minute. Chelsea, 58 points. They're definitely safe. Really, you got you, you know Chelsea's going to be safe from anything. Um, but I think they are going for, if I look, quickly go over, they're looking for the Champions League pre-qualifying in fourth position. Um, so... You never know, they're, they're probably going to go and try and stay for that spot. Tottenham are on 58 points as well, but Chelsea have got a game in hand as they had to postpone their match against Spurs because of the Man City-Chelsea uh, match, which they lost, unfortunately. Denver Bar with a great overhead kick, to be honest. Um, really good really good goal. Um, kind of not a spectacular over kick, more of kind of like leaning backwards and overhead kicked it, but uh, still... He's not looking at the goal, so it's a really good goal. Um, but they did get... They looked like they got dominated in that match, to be honest. So, yeah. Going into this match, Fulham, they've got nothing really to play for now, really. Um, they've just got to try and win their remaining matches that they they are looking comfortably to win. Um, other teams underneath them, Southampton, West, uh, Southampton, West Ham, Newcastle, Norwich, Villa, Stoke, Sunderland, uh, Wigan. They are all looking to play their hearts out for these last couple of matches. It looks like the first two spots for QPR and Reading are both uh, taken up now uh, for 20 and 19th uh, for tw with 24 points. They don't look like they're going to go anywhere. But the the remaining uh, place looks like it could be up for anyone in 11th to 18th. So they've all got to play really well and try and beat the teams that they can't seem to beat. And also they're probably trying to beat each other because if Villa beats Stoke, Stoke stay there, Villa go up. The, you've got to think of that. They're going to try and beat each other more than anything because that's that's how they're going to get us survive really. And I, I bet it is kind of cutthroat. Um, no one's your friend kind of teams now. Uh, no matter how many ally teams they've got, I don't even know if any teams actually do kind of get along with each other because a lot of teams. There it is competition. Obviously, they've got to try and become uh, get to the best spot they possibly can. So apart from that, you can't make t you can't make friends doing that. But uh, so yeah, I, I just think it's going to be a great kind of last few weeks uh, for the kind of uh, league to unfold. So I'm really looking forward to it. But in this match, who do I think is going to win? I think Fulham are very underdog worthy. They're they're kind of always on top of the big big teams. They seem to slow off a bit for the uh, for the little teams. But when it comes to the big teams, they seem to do really well. Maybe they don't win all the time, obviously, but. They um they do challenge really well. So one slip up from Chelsea, I'm pretty sure Fulham will let them know that they are they're pretty much there and raring to go. But overall, if I'm gonna make a prediction, I think Chelsea is gonna be the ones that do clench victory. I think they do want their Champions League uh, kind of run to to go on to next year as well. So it would be nice to see Chelsea. It, to be fair, it would be nice to see Tottenham in the uh, Champions League uh, for once. So I can't remember the last time they went in there. Um, it, it, Tottenham fans will probably uh, comment in the uh, comment section to tell me because I really haven't seen them that often. I know I've seen them in the uh, the Euro the Europa quite a lot, um, and normally that's where they are because they normally are kind of like a fifth team finish. Um, so really, apart from that, I'm just looking at the making sure I'm getting this all right because it, it the on the sky. Uh, I'm just looking at the kind of um, pretty uh, not the prediction the. Um, What's it called? What's it called? Click column header to reorder columns. Um, it's just like the qualifying. It's, it's the table and then it's qualifying rules. Um, so I just think Chelsea's going to win it and they're going to go ahead and go on to the Champions League. Tottenham, you never know. If Tottenham do beat them in their postponed match, they'll go ahead, obviously, if, as long as they win all their matches as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll be looking at that. So, apart from that, Chelsea, I think, are going to win. They're, they've got a, a better team. Well, not. I, I would, yeah, I'd say a better team. But they obviously can work hard, um, and also Fulham can work hard. So the team doesn't really matter. It all it all matters about chemistry and how they play on that day. But Fulham again, not an easy side to beat. Um, I think Chelsea still need to be on their game, especially at uh, Fulham. So yeah, I I just think Chelsea are going to win, but Fulham are not the Mickey Mouse team. So apart from that, hopefully you enjoy the video. If you have, remember to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.